which at owners or the operators, when they hire the pilot, the pilot gets groomed and then he offers good service and everything. But then later on, he jumps over the commercial airline. Uh, does it happen out um, in the other parts of the world? Because the, he seem, he feels that the carrier with the large airline liner operator is a little bit more lucrative compared to. Does it happen outside? Yeah, and it happens the other way as well. That we and what is the solution uh, normally the operators go for in this case? That they will find another pilot uh, from maybe another operator, yeah. and, and maybe from the airline, uh -huh. and then that person would get type rated in the particular aircraft that they were flying. Through fog uh, uh -huh. and in, in dark conditions, right. and it gives you that, that aid. The synthetic vision system is a, is a next step in the evolution uh, right. or, or an additional system uh -huh. that can provide you these uh, the addition. The other margin that the Gulf Streams have, or the benefit that the Gulf Streams have, is performance. Mm -hmm. So you, can, you have the performance to climb, climb quickly, get over the weather and mm. get to the smooth altitudes. Oh, okay. Is the aircraft so this means uh, the weather will not deter your operations? Well, weather affects everyone. The, the matter of it, it is having the performance to maneuver around it, to maneuver over it, uh, and then having the safety systems to enable you to see it before you encounter right, it. Right. Is the aircraft equipped with TCAS and other safety measures? Absolutely. And uh, what about the uh, safety of the passengers inside the cabin? Uh, what all uh, equipments are, have been installed here for the safety of the passenger? Like your, uh, you have your life vest, then Absolutely. Uh, BCF and uh, ELT is also there, one of the portable ELTs and all Absolutely. Those. Life rafts. Every, okay. Everything is, is certified and included as part of the certification. Okay. I mean, normally what, that's what, uh, and, and, and how, that was the idea. Yes. Very roomy aircraft for up to 10 passengers. It has a range of 3,400 nautical miles. And it does it uh, at a, a nice speed and is very economical to operate. When you say economical to operate, what does that mean? That means low fuel burn. It also has a low maintenance uh, schedule on it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it provides a very good choice for someone moving up from a smaller aircraft to a mid cabin. Okay. I think we should go to G five five zero. I'm curiously waiting for the uh, broadband multi link. Mm -hmm. The internet is is available not everywhere in the world on this particular system, but coming over the North Atlantic, I was connected on my. Blackberry. Blackberry. I was connected on my computer. Okay. So I could send live emails. You can do internet searches. Uh, so it's it, it's like being in your so office. So you are and you are well connected. So and they offer a VoIP option, so you can add the phone dimension over the high speed internet as well. Mm -hmm. So the technology is there to stay connected. Okay. Yeah. So one can remain stay. Absolutely. One can. Yeah. At your option. You, of you're not isolated <laughs> when you're in oh, that's there. That's the point. That's the point. Yes. Yeah, it's your option. Because that is what me would mean that okay, it is the tool for business expansion. Absolutely. Until the time you are connected, that's very important. You see, I'm clear. Yeah, please. Uh, Honeywell Epic is the. Uh, Full database, enhanced you around box database throughout the world. You can find any airport anywhere in the world. What are you doing? Are you doing this? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just pointing and clicking and showing you what we can do. We can, this is all the stuff we can display on our map. Oh, I see. Okay. All the airports. I have air supports displayed, so uh -huh. when I click on it, you can find information about that airport. All right. Um, we have all the airways in the database as well. So if I wanted to find an airway or insert an airway into the flight plan, I could do that as well.
can we yeah. sorry can we upgrade the database obviously anytime we want to or it takes time uh, well it, it comes in a disk every and it's on different schedules one's a two week schedule one's a 28 28 day schedule so we have charts that come every two weeks that's a full Jepson database and you can see the airplane symbol this little green symbol this tells us the chart is drawn to scale so the airplane symbol will show up on the chart and if we taxi around it will show us exactly where we are as well as on the approach so we'll fly right onto the approach Sorry. Yes. I can see it on that. when the airplane symbol Sorry. comes into range it'll fly right onto the, right onto the chart so you know exactly where you are See it. It's a little bright, like the, yeah. that's looking at the cut. It's also what the cut for the pot of it see during the round. We also have all the uh, so systems. We'll, we'll follow the app. Okay. Just tell us if the airplane's operating. Fine, you know. And this, is, this picture would be fully at night. It uses heat. Okay. Infrared. So. We also have synthetic vision on this airplane, which shows, which takes the database, the enhanced ground database, and turns it to a pilot's view instead of a bird's eye view. So you can see a little bit of undulation on the, but it shows every mountain and, and, and valley on this screen. So it's another safety tool that we have, very nice on this airplane. a unique feature of D550? Well, the unique feature is the speed and the range of the aircraft. It fly 6,750 nautical miles at 0 .80 Mach. It's about a 14, 14 and a half hour range on the aircraft. Mm -hmm. And um, what is the maximum altitude can it go to? Uh, the aircraft is certified at 51,000 feet. 51,000? Yes. Oh, is it more than the large airlines? Too? Yes, yes. It's certified to 51,000 feet. Well, I think they normally go to 40, 40 45,000 maximum. Yeah, I think that uh, maximum of uh, around 45,000 feet. That also depends on the regulation yeah. of the airspace, I believe, uh, of the regulatory authority like DGCA in India. Right, so uh, yeah, this, what, see, 50, it's, it's restricted in some countries yeah, as far, but as, as far as the certification ceiling on the.